Hello everyone, welcome to my YouTube channel. I'm here again, your mom, Kat, your super mom. Kung hindi ka pa nakasubscribe sa channel ko, please subscribe now and do not forget to smash the notification bell para lagi kang updated sa bagong video ko. Let's go with our week 2, which is finds the volume of cylinders, pyramid, cone, and sphere. This is only the continuation of what we had in our week 1. Now, punta agad tayo sa explanation kung paano pinukuha ang volume ng cylinders, pyramid, cone, and sphere. But I would like to uh, start with finding the volume of a prism. Now, we have volume of prism or rectangular prism. So here, when we say volume, uh, we say how much space or it means how much space does a solid figure can hold. And here we have here a rectangular prism. Volume of rectangular prism can be calculated using the formula length times width times height. What if... We have here the length of 3 centimeters and width of 1 and 5 tenths centimeters and a height of 8 centimeters. Let's compute for its volume. So we have volume is equal to 3 centimeters times 1 and 5 tenths centimeters times 8 centimeters. So multiplying these numbers, we will get 36 centimeters cubed or 36 cubic centimeters. The volume of this rectangular prism is 36 centimeters cubed. Now let's have another example. So we have here another rectangular prism. Let's say that the length of this rectangular prism is 13 centimeters and the width is 3 centimeters and height of 4 centimeters. Now substituting the value we have here Volume is equal to 13 times 3 times 4. So we have here, the answer is 156 centimeters cubed. The volume of this rectangular prism is 156 centimeters cubed. Imumultiply mo lang yung length, yung width, at saka yung height. Now, let's go to another solid figure, which is Pyramid. So volume of pyramid is one-third the volume of the prism. Now, let's say for example, we have here a pyramid. The volume of pyramid is equal to BH divided by 3, where in capital B is the area of the base. So kung ang area ng Kung ang base natin ay rectangle, katulad itong example natin, ang kanyang base, yung ilalim niya ay rectangle, therefore, yung capital B, let's say this is 6 this is, and this is 4. So, it is a rectangle. So, yung capital B, nagre-represent siya sa area ng base. So, kung meron tayong rectangular base dito sa ating pyramid, So if we have here a rectangular base is equal to length times width. So we have here 6 times 4 centimeters. So that is the area of the base which is equal to 24 centimeters squared. So ito, nakuha natin yung 24 centimeters squared and that is equal to the area of the base. So this one, 24 centimeters, area ito nitong ating base. And we say that volume is equal to area of the base times height divided by 3. So hindi na babago tong 3. So we get here 24. Saan natin na call yung 24? That is the area of the base which is length times width dahil rectangle tong ilalim natin. Times 11. Saan naman ang galing yung 11? That is the height divided by 3. Now, let's simplify this. 
So we get 24 times 11 is 264 divided by 3. So we get the volume of this uh, rectangle of this pyramid that is equal to 88 centimeters cube. So the volume of this pyramid is 88 centimeters cube. Na double lang tong so that ito na double. Pares lang ito at saka ito na double la. So again, the volume of pyramid is equal to area of the base times height divided by 3. Depende kung ano yung plane figure or kung ano yung base natin. Kung ito yung rectangle, so this will become length times width times height divided by 3. Pero kung ito naman ay square pyramid, so we have side times side times height divided by 3. So now, that is for pyramid. Now, let's say for an example, we have another pyramid here, wherein the base is a square. Example, we have a square pyramid. Mm -hmm. And whose side is 6 centimeters? And whose height is? Pagpalagay natin ang height ay 8 centimeters. So, kunin natin ang volume. Volume of the pyramid is equal to area of the base times height divided by 3. Kung titingnan mo yung pyramid natin, isa siyang square. So we have side times side times height divided by 3. And that the side of the square is 6 times 6 and height is 8 divided by 3. So we have here, 36, 6 times 6 is 36 times 8. We have 36 times 8. This is 48. 24, 288, we have 288 divided by 3. So we have 288 divided by 3. The answer is, raise muna natin to. So divide natin, we have 288 divided by 3. We have here 9. 27, 1, bring down 8, we have 6. The answer is 96 centimeters cube. Kung meters ang ginamit na unit, we have 96 meters cube. So again, the area of the, or the volume of the pyramid is equal to area of the base times height divided by 3. Now, let's proceed to another solid figure. Volume of cylinder, example. Arkin wants to know how much water does his cylindrical tumbler can hold. The height of the tumbler is 12 and 5 tenths centimeters and the radius is 4 centimeters. So kapag magsasabot tayo ng problem, i-imagine mo muna ano ba yung uh, solid figure na nagre-resemble doon sa object na nasa problem. Sabi dito, cylindrical tumbler. Ibig sabihin, ang kanyang tumbler ay cylinder. So kung kukunin natin ang volume ng cylinder, sabi ang volume ng cylinder daw ay, ayan yung itsura ng cylinder. Kung ma, when we say cylinder, it has circular base. Volume of a cylinder is equal to area of the base times height. So, ano ba yung base ng cylinder? B is the area of the base and cylinder has a circular base. Paano ba natin kinukuha yung area ng circle? So, halimbawa, ang radius niya ay 4 at ang height niya ay 12.5 centimeters. Una natin kukunin yung volume, I mean, yung area ng kanyang base, which is circle. At ang circle we can get the area of the circle, which is equal to pi r squared. Therefore, ang volume ng ating cylinder is equal to pi r squared times height. Saan ang galing tong ating pi r squared? Saan ang galing ito? 
Ito ay nanggaling dito sa capital B, which is area of the base, which is area of the circle. So now, let's compute for the volume of the cylinder. Let's substitute. So we have here, pi is equal to 3.14 times 4 squared. Sa so nanggaling naman itong 4 squared, nanggaling yan dito times 12.5, which is the height of the cylinder. Now, what's next? Let's simplify this, which, what is 4 squared? So we have here, volume is equal to 3.14 times 16. Sa nanggaling yung 16? Nanggaling 16 dito, which is 4 times 4, times 12.5. So pwede mo na i-multiply itong tatlong ito. So, Kahit alin dyan ang mauna, pwede mong i-multiply because we have commutative property of multiplication. So we get the volume of the cylinder equals 15.24 times 12.5. So inuna muna sa nanggaling itong 50.24. Dito yan ang galing. Pero pwede nyo na ang diretsyong i-multiply yung tatlo. And now, what is the final answer? The volume of the cylinder is equal to 628 cubic centimeters. So kapag i-multiply mo tong 50.24 times 12.5, makukuha natin is 628 centimeters cube. So when we are talking of volume, always we have the exponent 3 here because we are looking for the number of cubic units inside the solid figure. Now let's proceed to the next See that the volume of cone is one third the volume of cylinder. Now, so a while ago we have the cylinder. Na yon cone naman yung ating pag-usapan. Example: A cone hat has a diameter of twelve centimeters and the height of eleven centimeters. What is its volume? So first, imagine yung muna ano ba yung cura ng cone? Ayan. Ang cone ay may circular base. Isa lang yung circle base niya, hindi katulad ng cylinder dalawa. At saka meron siyang vertex dito. Now, volume of cone is equal to area of the base times height divided by 3. Again, yung capital B dito ay area ng base, which is ang ating base dito ay circle. Let's say for an example, itong problem natin. Sabi doon sa problem, ang kanyang height daw at saka ang kanyang... <clears throat> Uh, diameter is 12 centimeters. Now, to find the area of the base, we have cone as circular base, so we will use, dial circular base niya, we will use pi r squared para makuha yung area ng base, yung capital B. So now we will have here pi r squared times height divided by 3. So substitute lang natin yung pi Itong pi, that is equal to 3.14 times 6 squared. Sa nanggaling yung 6 dito sa atin. Radius, bakit 6 ang ginamit? Eh, 12 centimeters yung given dito. Ang sabi, diameter of 12 centimeters. So pag sinabi natin diameter, that is half of the radius. Ito yung diameter, buo. That is 12 centimeters. And radius, is only 6 cm since radius is only half of the diameter. So 6 lang yung gagamitin mo, yung kalhati ng diameter. Times 11, which is our height here. At yung 3, hindi siya mababago. Constant. Now, let us uh, express muna yung 6 squared. And that is equal to 36. So we have 3.14 times 36 times 11 divided by 3. So we will get, kapag i-multiply natin itong tatlo, we will get 1,243.44 divided by 3. And the final answer is 414.48 cubic centimeters. So the volume of this uh, cone hat is 414.48 cubic centimeters. Let's proceed to another solid figure, which is the volume of the sphere. So, pag sinabi natin sphere, ang pinaka-example niya ay whole globe. Now, let's have a problem here. 
Jackie wants to know how much water a spear can hold with a radius of 8 centimeters. Find the volume. Use 3.14 for pi. What is being asked in this problem? So being asked in this problem is the volume of water the spear can hold. Now, this is the spear and it has a radius of 8 centimeters. So we will get the volume of a spear using the formula 4 thirds pi r cubed. So ayan, dapat medyo familiar na tayo sa mga volume. So we have here 4 thirds pi r cubed. So yung 4 thirds hindi yan mababago. So ang pinaka ating uh, given is 8 centimeters. Now let's substitute the given. Since radius is equal to 8, so we have here r cubed which is equal to 8 cubed. Now, let's uh, simplify the given. So, we have 4 thirds is equal to 3.14 times 512. Paano nakuha yung 512? So, we have 8 times 8 is 64 times 8 is 512. So, that is 8 cubed. Now, we will get, if we multiply 4 times 3.14 times 512, we will get 6,430.73 divided by 3. So kapag i-divide natin to, makukuha natin ang volume which is equal to 2,143.57 centimeters cube. Actually, itong 0.57, rounded siya kasi uh, non-terminating, repeating, and non-terminating ang magiging sagot. 2,043, 2,143.57, 3, 3, 3, 3. So ko na lang siya the answer is 2,143.57 cubic centimeters. So that is for the volume of the sphere. So tawag ako kay Zaya. Hello sa'yo. Thank you for watching. And kung nagustuhan nyo ang video na to, please hit the like button and share this to your classmates, friends, and someone na kailangan ng tulong sa major. Bye!